John, a 3-2 victory away at Scunthorpe. Um, you've got to be pleased with that result. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, first time we've been beaten at home all season. We were, and we were well deserved the, uh, the three points, by the way. We were, we were excellent. Lads, lads turned up, you know, full 90 minutes, great performance, high energy. Um, Hattrick from Keane Coleman, but um, that aside, we were, we were very, very good today. Yeah, so obviously starting off, um, energetic, maybe a little bit nervy, settled into the game, um, unlucky with a couple of chances, um, and you know, sort of chances either end, but you know, Coleman, Coleman breaks the, the deadlock as such, and then the game, game comes to life. How did you feel in the sort of early stages? Of, you know, again with a young team, how they how they cope with the the biggest crowd so far this season? Yeah, it it, it was a bit nervy the first five ten. I think it was nervy for both teams. I think you know you got first playing playing fifth. Um, the goal settled us down, but the 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 passing movements for the goal was was fantastic. It just kind of emphasised what we're all about as a football club. Um, we you know we grew one all at, at half time, and it's all about you know playing the game and. You know, being professional in what we do, and I thought, you know, the last second half we were superb. Then again, obviously, pegged back, a bit of a frustrating goal, set piece. Do you feel like maybe that's a naivety there and, and, and how they deal with, with balls into the box? It's something that we've dealt with really well over the last probably, you know, seven or eight games that we've been looked look, look really solid. Um, and we can see two from set pieces today. So um, it's something to look at, something to work on. And, um, you know, like I said, they are a young group, but. Um, they're willing to learn, they're willing to look at it and um, it's something that we'll put right in the training ground. Peg back 1-1 at half time, obviously came out and, and came out firing again um, and obviously 2-1 up through through a excellent set piece and a, a brilliant heavy by Key and that, you know, set piece is maybe something we've not scored a lot of goals from this season. Are you pleased to see one um, go in the back of the net? That's a corner we worked on this week. Um, you know, Jake Loftus, our, our, uh, our analyst and academy head coach, came to me with this that, that set piece and, you know, it worked. So, you know, we, we are, you know, the management team here are fantastic with all, all of that. Pablo with his, his defensive work and um, great to score from one. Um, but I thought second half we were brilliant. You know, the, the boys kind of at half time were like, look, listen, you know, we're in this game. There's three points here for us. I said it on Friday. Um, you know, people talk about Scunthorpe being a, being a big club when they are, but you know, we're in the same division. Um, we don't fear nobody, and we came here today and, and, and showed that. Early setback with Kieran uh, Burton, obviously bringing him off. Is that a precaution, injury? How's that one looking? Yeah, it, it, it was precautionary because we knew he'd kind of, he was struggling a little bit with his hamstring during the week. Um, he didn't want to come off, which, you know, tells you, you the story about Kieran. Kieran wants to play every every minute, but we just we, we've got Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday coming up again. So we 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 just wanted to make sure he was okay. And you've got a ready-made replacement in Fendelap, who I thought was excellent when he came on today. And obviously, you've got to talk about probably man of the match, Keane Coleman. Um, excellent assist by Tommy Elliott on the edge of the box, and then he's uh, he's tucked his third away for the perfect hat trick, left you know, right foot header, left foot. So mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, a great day for the uh, the young lad. As a former centre midfielder, it doesn't get better than that, you know. An away performance, three points, and he scored a perfect hat trick. He, he was he was, but he was brilliant all game. He was industrious. He used the ball well, and and, and him and Conor Kirby are um, are forming a really good partnership. You know, when you know if you look at our last, you know, probably six seven goals, they've all come from, or the majority come from them too, uh, which is massive for us. You know, we we've got goals coming from all over the pitch for Keane. Fully deserved his um, his man the match performance and fully deserved his his match ball. He had all the lads signing in here you know, after the game and um, I'm, I'm assuming it's his first senior hat trick. I believe that's what he said as he came off. He said he's not much of a goal scorer as well. <laughs> yeah, he's good today. Obviously, uh, we've got got to make a little note on the travelling fans today. There was there was some noise from that bottom end. Obviously, in in such a such a large crowd today. Yeah, like I. I Keep saying it. Away Radcliffe, you've got down to my left of the dugout. There was a, a great crowd, and again today, it's you know we can hear them. You know uh, they, they were loud. They were as loud as you know a, a, a three and a half, four thousand you know deep Scunthorpe um, fans. So um, amazing and amazing to get the three points, and then you know we go to the end of the game, and they're still singing, and it's 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 the support the boys need. Um, we've got a young team who needs 
the support and listen, you know, we're all one club where, you know, fans and management team and players and staff all all in as one. Doesn't stop though, Brackley visit on Tuesday. How do you now prepare for that? Well, you'd, you, you know, it's it's been hectic the last, last four weeks, but, you know, we, we'll, we'll reassess it on Monday in training. We'll we'll see who's available, who's picking up knocks and who's, who's struggling a little bit. But the um, thing is, when you're winning games of football, everybody wants to play. So that's, I've now got a tough decision because you've got players who are come back from injury who are getting fit. We've got a, 18, 19 man squad now, and um, that's the headache that I want. And you know, we prepare for Brackley on Monday morning. Brilliant, well done today, and obviously, yeah, uh, let's roll on Tuesday. Cheers, then, thank you, mate.